everyone, it's Alex. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little tutorial on showing you guys how to put a timer in your video. So this will be really good for people who are doing exercise videos, but who knows, you probably could use it for something else as well. So if you guys follow me on my health and fitness Barbie channel, I have certain exercise videos and whenever I'm doing those exercise videos, I have a little timer going and a little countdown. And I had such a hard time finding something like that so I found a little trick that you guys can use in order to create a timer um, into if, if you want to put a timer into your video. So um, and you can do the timer going, you know, counting upwards or counting downwards. So going from zero to 100 or 100 to zero, I can show you guys how to do that in this video. All right, if you guys want to learn how to insert a timer into your video, then just keep on watching. All right, everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to insert a timer. Now, I don't know what kind of channel that you guys have, but timers can be very useful, especially if you have an exercise channel or any sort of video where you're trying to do a countdown to whenever you're finished doing something. Maybe there's like a makeup challenge video that you can use a timer in. I don't know. Oh, like a five minute makeup challenge. You could totally use it for that. But anyway, um, I want to show you guys how to insert a timer into your videos. And I was actually able to do that via Final Cut Pro. This timer is the timer down here. So I'm going to show you guys how I did that. Now, there has been an update since I've done this specific timer. So it's going to look a little bit different than right here um, because Final Cut Pro did have an update recently, but you could still get this timer going. Now, the funny thing is, this is going as like the video is going. So this is a countdown, this is a count forward. So I'm gonna be also showing you guys not only how to insert the timer, but also how to reverse it so that way it's a countdown and not a count forward. So it's gonna get interesting. All right, so in order to create a timer, all you need to do is use Quick Time Player. So I'm gonna pull that up here, make sure you guys download it from the internet. Oh crap, how am I gonna show you guys a Quick Time Player when I already have Quick Time Player running? Okay, so let's just do this a different way. So, you're going to want to upload QuickTime Player. You're going to want to go to File, New Screen Recording. I can't click it right now because I'm in the middle of showing you guys something. I'm recording this video, so I, I'm already in the record mode. Um, so all you would need to do is hit New Screening, and then you would just click around here just to start the screening, um, and then you'll see the Stop button. Once you see that Stop button, that means it is recording, and to stop the screening, you would just hit the Stop button right here. Um, and this is on a Mac. I don't know if it would differ from like a Dell or any other sort of um, computer. But anyway, so you would just make sure that screen is running. Now, I'm just having this entire screen filled up. But since you wanted to get the specific timer, you're not going to want to just click like I said before and then it'll just start doing the whole screen. You're actually going to hold down and select part of the screen. So instead of just clicking so it does the whole screen, you're actually going to select a piece of the screen, hold down, and then you are going to drag it around this area right here. So kind of like whenever you're doing a screenshot, if you have a Mac, if you're doing a screenshot, if you do Command-3, that'll do a screenshot of this whole entire um, screen. But if you do Command-4, you can actually select what you want to see. So it's the same type of thing except you're doing it in video form rather than a picture form. So um, whenever you do select it, you're gonna wanna select it right around here and that will get you the countdowns. So that's that. Now we're gonna go into my files here. I'm gonna show you a previous countdown that I had recorded using QuickTime Player. Okay, so this is a timer. I don't know which one's newer. Will not let me open it? Okay. So here's the timer. And as you can see, it's starting at zero, going one, two, three, four. It's counting up. So whenever I did the select around it, I just selected that area. So that is just a close-up of this timer. And like I said, there was an update to Final Cut Pro, so that's why it doesn't look exactly the same. But all I did is record just the timer area. And it records in time. Now, whenever you're recording it, all you're going to be doing is you're going to put the box around here, press start, and then you're just going to let your computer sit for however long that you need it to. So your computer's just going to be running and it's going to be recording this timer. So for me, I had to figure out, okay, how long is this exercise video going to be? So if it's going to be 20, a 20 minute long exercise video for the parts that I want to show for the actual exercising part, not including the introduction, not including the outro, 20 minutes, 
okay, so that means I'm gonna let my computer sit like this for 20 minutes recording this timer. Pain in the ass, but I tried looking up other timers on Google and like nothing good was coming up. So one day I was just like, let me just record this timer. Um, I don't know if anybody else has done this, but um, it's been really helpful to me. You just gotta be patient and you know, you can't use your computer for other things because you need to make sure that it's recording the timer. So if you have a 20 minute long exercise, you're gonna wanna let your computer sit and record this timer for 20 minutes. And then whenever 20 minutes is up, you can go to the stop button and then that will stop the timer. So that is how you record the timer. So pretty much all you guys have to do is go into QuickTime Player and then you're just gonna select this area and then let it run for however long the exercise is for and then you're gonna stop it. Of course, after that, you will save it somewhere where you're gonna easily be able to pull it from. So I'm just gonna delete this timer. Um, I've already posted this video, so it's not a big deal. So I'm gonna say, okay, move to trash. So now I'm gonna bring in that timer. So that was, I think, 34 minutes. It doesn't really matter which one it is. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag and drop it in here. I don't wanna replace anything. I just wanna put it on top. Okay, dragging and dropping it on top. So you got the timer that you recorded. You're gonna go to this button right here after you've selected the clip and you're gonna transform it. And then you don't have to do this with this clip, but I'm gonna do it anyway just because I like borders. You can leave it as is. Um, if you don't put a border, or even if you do put a border, you gotta be careful not to, you know, you don't wanna make the recording so big that you record part of this, but you also have a tone with me and that you want it just to be clean on top of the record, record button. Um, but I'm gonna put a border in, so I'm gonna go to simple, simple border, and then let me scroll up a little bit. I'm gonna drag and drop simple border on top of the timer. And my color is raspberry pink, so I'm gonna select raspberry pink just to have that timer there. I like the outline, it makes it stand out a little bit more. Um, okay, so as I said before, your timer is now going from zero and up. You need to reverse it. So how do you do that? Okay, so you're gonna go to modify, three time, and you have different options like slow, fast, normal, but you also have a reverse clip. So you're gonna to wanna to go to modify, retime, reverse clip, and that reverses the clip. So instead of going from zero to 34, it's going 34, 30, it's counting down from 34 instead. So see so it goes to 34 to 33, so on and so on. Okay, so you got the timer, you got it going in reverse order, now you gotta start it where it needs to be started. So I don't need it starting during the introduction. Like I want it to start right when the exercise starts. So I'm going to scroll through until the exercise starts, which is about, I don't know, here. Let's just pretend it's here. Drop it here. And then you're going to scroll to the end because you want to record a little bit longer than you think the exercise is just in case. So see, that's much, much longer. So I didn't really need the whole 34 seconds. So I'm gonna go here and then I'm going to blade it, take it off and drag this in. So pretty much you wanna make sure that the end of this timer ends with the workout. So I still have plenty more to go. So let's see, let's cut out some more. And of course now it's like too short. So then once you get to that point, you kind of do this, you're gonna drag it until like the end of the exercise portion. So I'm gonna have like a talking part. That's this talking part. So I'll find wherever that stops and starts. That's the end, so that is where I want zero to be. I'll go over here. Find the start, if I need to, I'm not sure where the start is exactly, but let's just say it's a little further up, so I just drag here, and then the workout starts, and the countdown goes down. So that way you know exactly how much time you have left, and whenever the workout is getting close to being done. These videos, guys. You I have it there. To so, and the reason why this is important, you know, your, your subscribers can look at the video and they can say like, oh, this video is 20 minutes long, my workout's 20 minutes. Not necessarily, you have the intro, you have the outro, 
I even have this little ending. Um, let me see. Let me. I even have this little ending here that's like 10 to 20 seconds long where it's just like pictures and stuff. Like people want to know exactly how long uh, the workout is and how much time that they have left, especially as they're doing the workout. And they're not going to want to start and stop the video to kind of figure out how much time is left. They want to, you know, expand it. Then I got this so they want to expand it and they want to just be able to look at that. They don't want to have to you know, keep scrolling down here. They're going to be working out. They have this big timer right here. It makes it like so Stay much nuts. easier. Anyways, that is it for this video. I hope it wasn't too complicated. I know I rambled on quite a bit, um, but at least I was able to show you guys how I created this timer and hopefully it made sense. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment below, send me a message. If you also want me to do a video on QuickTime Player, I seem to be using that quite a bit. I could do that um, as well. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I really hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you have not subscribed to my channel already, please click that subscribe button below. Click that little bell so you're notified when my videos have been posted. Like this video if you did like it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Of grabbing the clip, just grab right inside of the GIF, record it, and then save it. Now we're gonna go back in Final Cut Pro, and then we're gonna grab the I'm Insane GIF from our desktop and drag it on top of the video clip. So, as you can see, it's wider than the clip, I gotta make it.